Hey, folks. We're back. Simon. Vinny. Simon and Vinny. All right, uh, part two, episode two. Um, let's go ahead and jump into our current events. Yeah, uh, what you got this week? Oh, uh, you want me to start? Yeah, you should start because mine's pretty sad and depressing. <laughs> you want to end on sad and depressing? Yeah. Because mine's pretty light and humorous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, mine is Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. <laughs> Did they break up? No, they're they're together though, <laughs> and I think that's great. <laughs> it is it is a pretty good uh, duo. It's like teen pop like oh my royalty God. I, superstars. I know I know it's like hipster of me to love them, but I love them. <laughs> you know, I'm at that age now where just pop music. Fuck yeah! Uh, just this is, that was the inaugural fuck, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> Justin Bieber. Oh man, the next Michael Jackson. Selena Gomez. Oh, you don't know that? Uh, oh, he totally Justin the next Bieber, Michael. next Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I guess he's got like a little rough period here to get over. As soon as he gets past that, like, I can be a child singer and a regular singer. Once he gets to there, then he'll be the next Michael Jackson and just be like crowned prince of pop music. Can do whatever he wants for the next 40 years till he goes insane. <laughs> that is like a hard hurdle to get over, though. Like the child, like especially like. When people's like voices change, like they hit puberty, like Hanson or something. He's not that young though. He's already hit puberty. And well, I guess half, I don't really of, know. Two thirds of Hanson was hit puberty by the time they, yeah, they couldn't do it. It's just that little one, right? right. Um, and Selena Gomez. I was just telling you earlier that that I love you like a love song, baby. Oh my god, I wish we were song describing that because <laughs> that is an awesome song. <laughs> maybe, maybe next week. Oh, have you seen the video for it? No. Oh, they. There's references to Max Headroom in it. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's such a good video too. There's like a futuristic mariachi band in there. <laughs> it's so like repetitive and just like poppy, but it's great. Is it better than the Black Eyed Peas "I'm a B" Ooh, video? No. <laughs> As, uh, any listeners not in the know should know that that is the best video ever. The I'm a B slash rock that body video that's 10 minute just epic of robots fighting and everything. Uh, yeah. But anyways, my current event, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. Um, <laughs> whew, excuse me. <laughs> there was a lot of focus on what they were doing for Christmas. And everyone's still wondering what Justin Bieber got her for Christmas. <laughs> my question, did they spend it with Justin Bieber's family or with Selena well, Gomez's family? And here's the sad part of the current event. Is that uh, Selena Gomez's mother just had a miscarriage, right? Like a, like a few days before Christmas. So, I don't know. The one article I read was like, "Oh, Justin Bieber is playing it perfectly. He's he's you know being the shoulder to cry on, and giving her enough time with her family to to reconcile with the remorse and everything like that." So so Justin Bieber spent spent time with his family. I, I think he he allowed them in Justin Bieber's infinite wisdom. He allowed them to have time together. And spent it with with whoever he spent it with. I don't know exactly, you know. Yeah, I mean, I would. I mean, if I was him, I just wouldn't want to be around that drama. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's he played it off really well. It's really about how you dress things up, but right, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm not good with drama either. But you know, I, I got to deal with my girlfriend's drama all the time. <laughs> Had a lot of that at Christmas, you know. <laughs> Did you have any sort of fights at Christmas or anything? You have anything good happening? I'm, I'm not. I'm not like at liberty to go into it. <laughs> but you know, there's always drama with them. You know, Arabs. <laughs> yeah. There's not really a lot of drama with my family. We all just no. kind of get drunk. There's not. Yeah. I think my dog kept biting my uncle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't like drama filled. Like he's gonna sue. And yeah. I mean, he was pretty pissed, <laughs> but like you know, he's not gonna. He right. doesn't. He doesn't have a credit card. He's pretty <laughs> under the radar. <laughs> Well, I can vouch that I don't have a credit card, but I am not under the radar. I have huge, just credit problems. <laughs> yeah, same same here. I've, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be bankrupt in a couple of years. Yeah. Well, you did like weird things with your loans. Yeah. <laughs> you like, what'd you do? You like deferred them or something like that? I, I keep deferring them. This my, keep I'm on my <laughs> second. I'm on my second forbearance, <laughs> which means I keep getting interest. So now they're up to like 600 bucks a month. Ooh. <laughs> ouch. <laughs> but uh. But you're yeah. not paying them, so. <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, but on my on is, uh, I, I lived in an apartment with a guy who didn't pay his rent. And for some whatever, you know, reason, I was liable for his unpaid rent. And, you know, because I'm a cook and we're very about principles and everything, I refused to pay it. Even though at certain points I could have paid parts of it. 
I just refuse to pay it because it's not my debt. But it does affect my credit score, so I'm really screwed by that. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't pay it either. But right. uh, but then I also sucks. have the same, you know, student loans and everything like that. And, yeah. Right. <laughs> but Selena Gomez, <laughs> Justin Bieber, uh, they're great. I don't, I don't know if Selena Gomez is the next, like, Britney Spears. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. She is a Disney Channel star. Uh, is she on iCarly or is that someone else? That's Nick. Come on. Nick? Come on, Penny. She's on Nick? That's Nickelodeon. No, she's not. Nickelodeon. iCarly is on Nickelodeon. Oh. Uh, she was on, oh, I might be wrong about this. I think Wizards of Waverly Place, which was a Disney Channel show. Okay. I haven't seen I'm that one. Pretty sure about that. Uh, well, yeah, you haven't seen it. Oh, I love Disney cartoons. Yeah. The Disney, like Phineas and Ferb was great. Kim Possible, you might be mad at me, but I think Kim Possible was a really amazing cartoon. Uh, but their live action stuff is just, they have the same kind of Disney humor for live action that only appeals to like, you know, teens and tweens and younger. Yeah, and it seems, it seems everything on there is kind of like dramatic now. It's like a lot of teenage drama. Like, I, I didn't think high school was as dramatic as they make it on TV. <laughs> well, that, that's been going on for years. I mean, since like, you know. The eighties, they've been making, you know, the, the Breakfast Club. You know, high school's not as dramatic as the Breakfast Club. <laughs> Saved by the Bell. I don't. I never into Saved by the Bell. I, I'll take I, flack for that. But for for a while, I'd have to wake up really early to go to work, and Saved by the Bell was on Fox Family at like eight a.m. Yeah. or whatever. So I'd watch that while I ate breakfast. Mm-hmm. For a while, I was staying up till like eight a.m. every day, and it was on <laughs> TBS. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just had it on the background. I didn't watch it really. Yeah. Uh, but Disney cartoons, great. Disney live action, eh. Selena Gomez, pretty good. Not Britney Spears. Justin Bieber, though, I, I'm sticking with he's the next Michael Jackson. Uh, but <laughs> I guess that's all I got. Well, all right. What's your current event? All Depress right. me a little bit. My current event, uh, I'm not really sure where this happened or who it happened to, but I guess there's this nine-year-old girl that has been missing for a while. And uh, I guess they found out that her babysitter like chopped her up put her body in in the uh like the dumpster behind the seven eleven or something and they, they caught him because her hands, feet and head were in the freezer. Of the seven eleven? No, of his house. Okay. Or her house. I'm not really sure. I don't really <laughs> but like right, right. like I don't know if it's someone that was kinda of twisted, you know, he just mm-hmm. wanted to do well, something probably. fucked up to a child. <laughs> or if, you know, maybe that kid was being real bad. <laughs> I don't you know, I I'm the kind of guy who will laugh at children crying in a store because that sound is just hilarious to me. And just the, the parents, like, just like, oh, my God, whatever. Oh, my God. And it's just the, them grunting to themselves about how much they hate their kids. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure any kid deserves to be, you know, no matter how bratty they are. <laughs> I mean, no, it is fucked up. But, I mean, I could imagine if I was a babysitter, there might be times when I'd want to chop up a kid. But, mm. I guess I'm not sure why they saved it though. I think that's maybe that's the weird part. Yeah. I don't know where it happened. Though. I don't know any of the details to the story. Right. So. Well, that's the point of our current events. Yeah. Show. I mean, if anyone wants to leave a comment, maybe <laughs> don't even try. These assholes won't leave comments. <laughs> we know, Vinny. Oh my God, you listening right now? You're an asshole because you don't leave a comment. You probably aren't even listening this far, and you maybe clicked the video and went like, "Oh shit, they're talking again," and just turned it off. <laughs> But you're missing out on all this great depressing news. Like somebody yeah. got chopped up, you know? A nine-year-old girl got chopped up. A nine-year-old girl got chopped up. I'm not sure that's news even. Cause that happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, mean, that happens every day. Unlike Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez dating. Yeah, celebrating <laughs> dating and celebrating Christmas together. Right, it's yeah. pretty serious yeah. once they celebrate Christmas together. Uh, yeah. Uh, not to go back to my current event, but... Uh, <laughs> There was a report that Justin Bieber got his his best friend like a uh, a, a yellow Camaro or something like that. So everyone's like, "Oh my God, what's he gonna get, Selena Gomez?" <laughs> <laughs> but like, I mean, at like Justin Bieber's age, shouldn't he be like bros before hoes? Like, he might not get her nothing. I, I, I mean, when you're like that age, even if you're bros before hoes, you know, you still have that much money that you're gonna do something. <laughs> And with, like, the media attention, you have to do something that's, like, you know, going to get you to sell more records, you know, yeah. <laughs> regardless. Does anyone yeah. sell records anymore? Like, it's kind of... And, well, you know, sell the proverbial record, you know. Yeah. The metaphorical record of, you know, downloads or wherever. You're just getting the fan attention. Just, you know. 
Yeah, I'm you sure. are a product, and you sell yourself. And I'm sure there's a lot of people waiting to hear what what Justin got Selena for. Christmas. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am now. I Do wasn't you, before. I had to find out current event for this week, but now that I know, I am. <laughs> I like you and me, we both celebrate Christmas Eve. Do you think? Do you think? What do you think Justin Bieber celebrates Christmas Eve or Christmas or maybe both? Uh, I'd say a lot. Christmas Day. Christmas probably. Day. I didn't think there were that many people that celebrated Christmas Eve. I just, I guess, I never really knew. But my girlfriend does, and that's like big problems because, like, you know, I celebrate Christmas Eve, she celebrates Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, and you know, we both have to like we we. What happened this year was like she came out to mine. That left early, and then I stayed, and then left, and got to hers late, and then you know it was like a really long day of like both Christmas Eves, yeah. and then Christmas Day we were both just like doing nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like a lazy Christmas, but it's kind of like we do like my mom's family Christmas Eve, like my dad's family on Christmas, and then my dad's family again for something called Taco Christmas. <laughs> it's kind of like Christmas that happens a couple days later because it's like because it's Taco Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, no, well, yeah, but there's like divorces, you know. So it's like my grandpa doesn't right, want right, to be right. where my grandma is. So it's all the same people get together, and and that's what that's what I like about Christmas is that some people celebrate the day, some people celebrate Eve. Hopefully, it lines up so that you can do your family on Christmas Eve, her family on Christmas Day, or vice versa. But just both of us are on Christmas Eve, and both of us have like really stubborn families. So you know, it's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think my Thanksgiving this year was pretty cool. They just kind of combined it on. They had like all my mom's family, all my dad's family. There was no room for anyone to sit anywhere. Was it at your house? Yeah, it was at my yeah. house. And uh, me and my brother made mac and cheese. So that there was the go. highlight. The Thanksgiving Day favorite. Yeah. Uh, well, my family does Christmas. Or th- Christmas uh, they do Thanksgiving, but they do it early. So we we have our dinner at like noon, like one of those like weird, you know. It should be lunch, but it's called Thanksgiving dinner. So yeah, we did that, and then we were, we had plenty of time to get to her family's Thanksgiving. So that wasn't a problem. I mean, what about as far as food consumption? Uh, my family's all vegetarian, so there's no turkey or anything. It's pretty much just all side dishes. But that's <laughs> so, the best part. No one actually wants to eat turkey. What they want mashed potatoes and stuffing? Uh, uh, I don't, mac I don't and know. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, now that I am a meat eater, because when I went to college, I started eating meat, uh, even though I was raised vegetarian for 18 years, I, you know, I like meat. I like turkey on Thanksgiving, <laughs> you know. Uh, but it's good, because my, my family, they eat early, but they have just sides, so I don't really fill up. You know, I, I get the sides, I get my fill of stuffing, and then, you know, I get to her family, and they've got turkey and stuff, so. It was good. Thanksgiving worked out great between our families. Christmas, not so much. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> back to, you know, children being murdered and cut up, you know? Yeah. I don't, I don't know <laughs> if we should end with that cause we're almost, uh, we're we almost at the end time? of our, uh, okay. our break, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's bad. You shouldn't cut up kids, shouldn't but it happens. I think that's, that's a the conclusion we got to here. From Vinny and Simon. Don't yeah. cut up your don't kids. Don't cut up kids. Even if you're babysitting them and they're not yeah. yours. Yeah. All right. We're taking a break now. Yeah. All right. That's that one back quick. Button up now. Uh, click it. Uh, let's just let's draw it out a little bit so they have time to click. Yeah. Don't worry. Nothing important is going to happen here, so you yeah, can click no, you it can and click. not not worry about missing anything funny. Because well, you can not listen and not worry about <laughs> not missing anything <laughs> funny. Uh, so yeah, you should have clicked it already, asshole. <laughs> 